What is diabetes? Diabetes is a condition where there's too much sugar or glucose in the blood. This occurs because the pancreas can't make any insulin or it can only make a small amount of insulin and the insulin it makes cannot work properly. Glucose is our body's fuel, just like petrol is to the car. The fuel comes from the food we eat. Not all food, but the food we call carbohydrates. Carbohydrate foods are healthy, starchy foods like bread, rice, pasta, cereals and potatoes. Or sugary, healthy foods like fruit, milk and yogurt. And the not-so-healthy choices like chocolate, ice cream, takeaways, cakes, biscuits, cool drinks and lollies. When we eat these foods, they go into our stomach, gets broken down and moves into the gut or intestines. The sugar that comes from these foods is called glucose. This glucose is absorbed from our gut into the bloodstream and travels around the body where it's used for energy by the body's cells. It's also stored in the muscles and the liver and whatever is left over is stored in the fat cells. Our body makes insulin in an organ called the pancreas and insulin works like a key to your front door. The cells of the body are like little houses with lots of doors. Insulin is needed to open the doors just like a key and then the glucose goes into the rooms to be used as energy. In type 1 diabetes, the pancreas cannot make any insulin at all. This is known as an autoimmune condition and it's quite different to type 2 diabetes. When the pancreas can't make enough insulin keys, or the insulin it's making doesn't work properly because the locks are rusty or clogged, the sugar stays in the blood and the levels rise too high. This is known as type 2 diabetes. Several things can cause these rusty locks. Age, being overweight or obese, especially around your waist, being inactive, your family history or ethnic background. Sometimes certain medications and other diseases can cause problems too. The rusty locks are often referred to as insulin resistance. The high levels of glucose can lead to complications like blindness, kidney disease, heart attack, stroke and amputation in both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. The symptoms of high blood glucose are thirst, peeing a lot, visual changes and feeling tired and lethargic. In many instances people can have diabetes for a long time and not have any symptoms. That's why regular blood tests with your doctor are important as you get older or if you have any of the risk factors that cause diabetes. Measuring glucose in the blood is done with a machine called a glucometer. The non-diabetic range is from 4 to 8 millimoles per litre. In people living with diabetes, there are target ranges for fasting levels. That is, when you first wake up in the morning. And this is between 6 to 8 millimoles per litre. And two hours after food, from the time of the first mouthful, the target is less than 10 millimoles per litre. Keeping blood glucose levels in the healthy range will reduce the risks of complications in the future. Follow the link below to the next diabetes education video.